Hi guys. Always honor your intuition. All I got to say, my husband just got off the phone with me. He called me and he was, um, he took him two hours to drive down the hill to get to work. And um, so he called me and he goes, babe, you know how you were saying your intuition you, was telling you like you don't want to go to work on Wednesday and uh, for some reason like you feel like your guides are telling you you don't want to go to work and I said yes and he goes I'm really glad you didn't go because if I would have gone to work today um, I would have driven by myself and um, he was saying it was so foggy down the hill that's why it took two hours because everybody was driving really slow and there was accidents on the side of the roads he was saying um it was so foggy you couldn't see really more than like 10 20 feet in front of you and he goes you were literally driving like through the clouds through the mountains and so he goes you would have freaked out if you were by yourself and because <laughs> it's not it's not just foggy it was raining at the same time so he goes, it's really foggy right now. Luckily, you know, it's daylight, so it's not as, as bad. But at night, it's scary when it's foggy. Like, I've driven with him going home when it's like that. And you can't see too far in front of you. And you got to have, like, the hazards on so the cars behind you can see you. Ah, so he goes, um, I'm really glad you did. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't go to work. So I feel better because I was, I was low-key feeling guilty for calling off sick today. But I'm telling you, my intuition was telling me don't go to work today. And I had been feeling that since like last weekend. I remember, I think I told my husband on Friday or Saturday. I was like, for some reason, babe, I feel like I, I, I shouldn't be going to work on Wednesday. And he goes, why? And I go, I don't know. I can't, I can't explain it. Like I just get this feeling like I shouldn't, I don't, I don't, shouldn't go to work tomorrow on tomorrow. I shouldn't go to work on Wednesday. And so I sat on that feeling and yesterday my depression started to kind of creep in, you know, like when you kind of feel your emotions um, starting to drop and you just starting to feel really somber um, and on the verge of tears. Like that's how I feel when I know my, my depression is coming in. So when I start to feel that way, I try to, to do things to get my mood up. So I'll do a meditation or I've been like, I've been listening to ASMR before I go to sleep to help me fall asleep. Um, I've been holding up my citrine palm stone because citrine is really good for like just good overall good vibes and it mimics the sun. Um, and reading, I've been like really lost in a book. I'm reading, currently reading um, The Water Cure. It's a really good book. Um, so I've been loving that. But I decided to honor my emotions today and honor my intuition. <laughs> And I decided to have a me day, and so I called off work this morning, and my husband still went to work, but we weren't planning on carpooling today because um, he needed to run errands before he go he before he went into work, and I needed to be there at a certain time. And when we carpool, it's like we have to borrow, we have to figure out who's gonna have the car, and it's just a lot. It's just a lot. So, and sometimes we have to bug other people to pick us up somewhere, or ugh, it's just a lot. We only have one car right now and he's borrowing his dad's truck. But his dad's little truck, it's like a little old truck. <laughs> and I don't always feel comfortable knowing my husband's driving it in when it's raining like this. And it's been crazy winter weather this, this year. It's been wild. So um, it was just too much. So we weren't pl planning on carpooling today for those reasons. But because I didn't go to work today, he was able to take my car and get all of his shit done and I'm just glad I'm glad that I didn't I'm glad I didn't go like I, did, I no longer feel guilty about calling out sick because now I see that there was a reason why I was feeling that way <laughs> so if it's foggy right now going down the hill I can only imagine what it would have been like driving up in the evening um, after work so I'm a little nervous for my hubs to drive into it driving in it but um, he's he's not a scaredy cat like I am <laughs> so anyways that's that so I wanted to kind of get on here to um, do a quick little film a video for you guys because it's been a while and yesterday I filmed a video um, of me talking about my depression and stuff but I don't want to put it up I'm not gonna post it I feel almost embarrassed to post that video because I was talking I was getting a little personal and I started to think about it and I was like, you know what? I don't really think I want that kind of stuff. Um, 
out there on YouTube, like on my YouTube channel. So I'm gonna honor my, my, <laughs> my, I'm transparent for the most part, but there's just some stuff I probably shouldn't put out there. So I'm gonna honor that and um, not post that video. So instead, I'm gonna post this video and I wanted to just kind of dive in on just to talk about self-care and self-love um, and the import the importance of honoring your you time or uh, taking a mental health day or whatever term you want to use. And so I actually used the term mental health day yesterday. It was I made a post on my Instagram where um oh I posted a picture of the hermit and I put in the in the little caption I wrote um thinking about taking a mental health day. So I have nothing against that phrase. Um, I hear a lot of people use it. I never used it personally for myself. Um, whenever I feel like I needed to take a day for myself, it's usually a me day. Oh, I would say like, I'm gonna take a me day, I'm gonna do me. Or I would say, um, I need to do focus on myself, so I'm taking a self-care day or a pampering day or whatever. <laughs> but for the first time, um, I really truly resonated with the term mental health day because um, I realized that my anxiety, which has seemed to be, my anxiety has seemed to take another level <laughs> since I turned my, like in thir my 30s. I gotta say, my 20s, I was rather emotional. I've always been emotional since a teenager. I was even more emotional, um, but that's part of who I am. But I would have to say my anxiety, my panic attacks, more so anxiety though, um, has really become more extreme um, since I turned 30. And, I've, and I'm now 33. So I would have to say my 30s is like another level of my mental health. Um, so <laughs> my anxiety is there. It happens. It's a it's a real legit thing and it was really bad in January. So um I didn't take some uh, any days off for myself in January. I went to work even if I was anxiety or if I had like all these emotions rolling through me. I've had the whole like taking a time to go sit in the bathroom to cry. <laughs> I've done that many times at many different jobs. Um, I've done it, you know, and so I've also done the whole like calling off sick because I need me day, you know, I've done that too. And I, and I will always tell my clients or like and my friends Anybody who wants to listen that it is so important that you honor yourself every once in a while, you know, every day you should honor yourself, but really truly honor yourself and your specific need for time, like for you time, um, and do what it need, what needs to be done. You know, there's a, there's a, there's a fine line. Uh, when it comes to taking advantage of a sick day versus utilizing a sick day because you genuinely need it, right? And you know, we, we're all we, we're all guilty of taking advantage of our sick time. You know, I've done that. I've done that. <laughs> I think everybody's done that. But there's also days where sometimes you just need you just need it, you know. And so I felt that today was one of those days. I needed it. I had a good cry this earlier this morning after my husband left. I had a good cry. I let it out. <laughs> um, I had a good cry yesterday. Let it out. Luckily, I didn't go cuckoo when I was at work. Um, I was able to keep it together, but I did have a good cry after work. Um, my husband saw a good portion of it too, but it needs to come out and he's understanding that. So it's nice to have my husband embrace like that side of me because there were times um, earlier in our, in, our, in our relationship where, um, you know, it was hard for him to understand why I was so, so emotional. <laughs> so um, I got to say, you guys, like self-love, self-care taking a day for yourself is so important. It's, um, it is so necessary. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, I just, 
that's just what I wanted to talk about was just honoring you, you know, taking care of yourself. And it doesn't have to just be like calling in sick. It could be separating yourself from people who make you feel stressed, you know? Um, this could be friends, family members, coworkers, your boss, your neighbor, whoever. <laughs> if there's people out there that are making you stressed, um, you have every right to separate yourself from those people, you know? Um, you don't have to tell them, I'm, I'm taking a break from you because you're stressing me the fuck out. But at least, like, separate yourself. Um, I've had to do that. Not, not just, not with this, not, mo not really so much with this job, but with previous jobs that I've had, um, where, you know, I disconnected from people or they disconnected from me, um, because we just weren't good for each other anymore. You know what I mean? And when someone is just, just emotionally taxing on you, or maybe you're taxing on them, um, you know, sometimes you have to honor that and you have to decide for yourself, is this person good for me? Or am I super drained and stuff because of them? <laughs> Same thing for the environment, you know? So like I said, taking a day off from work, not going to that class that's stressing you out, um, but making sure that you're being productive in some kind of way while you take this day off, you know? So for me today, um, I was productive. I, I cooked an early lunch. I put that together for my husband so he was able to leave for work today with food <laughs> to eat for dinner when he's at work. Um, and then I have leftovers for myself for dinner. Um, and I had my cry after he left. I was able to get that out of the way. Um, I've been letting, literally laying down in bed and reading um, I painted my nails because that's like a time that I'm so focused on the nail painting that I'm like giving myself that space to relax. Um, if I feel good enough, I may do the last client reading that I have planned to um, film because it's um, the last one I had left over from the weekend <sighs> that I didn't get to. So I may finish that. Um, but I don't feel like I wasted a day. You know what I mean? Um, I may not have gone to work, but I was able to get some stuff done or at least allow myself to feel the feels <laughs> so that hopefully tomorrow I will be in a better place, you know? And that's it. That's all it is. So don't be embarrassed by your emotions, you guys. Don't be embarrassed by it. Um, honor your emotions, whether they're, you know, you're happy or you're sad or you're mad or you're just whatever emotion you're feeling, you know, honor that mm, and go allow yourself to go through the feelings. You know, if you want to cry, you got to cry, let it out. If you can't let it out right away, that's okay. Hold it in and then let it out when you are comfortable. Um, if you feel like you need to talk or get something out, write it down, you know, or talk to somebody that you trust. Or tell it to yourself, you know, make a video of it. And then you may not do anything with it, but at least you're like talking it out. I know I feel 10 times better when I'm like verbalizing what's going on in my head. <laughs> um, sometimes I don't post them on YouTube, but you know, I do feel better after I like verbally get it out. So do you have to do something? You have to be proactive to get that stuff off of your chest. Um, and I just, I feel like I needed to say that. There's so much, like when you're looking at the Astros, like there's so much going on just today. We have a new moon in Pisces. Mercury is um, retrograde. Um, there's a lot of planets hanging out in Pisces today and for the next few days and for a while it's been. <laughs> but the fact that the moon and the sun are both in Pisces and um, Mercury is in Pisces and it's retrograde. It's just, there's just a lot of like, there's just a lot, a lot going on. <laughs> and some of you are, you know, influenced by it in a positive way. Some of you might be influenced it by it in a negative way or just, it's just affecting you differently. So you may notice some of your friends might be super happy today and feeling high vibe where some of us, like myself included, are feeling drained as fuck. We're just feeling really drained or like we just need to take a step back, right? 
There's nothing wrong with that, you guys. If you are not feeling as pumped up for life today, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, if you need to slow it down, slow it down. That's what Mercury is doing. It's slowing it down. Let's let's like, like, like relive some things. Let's refocus on things. Whereas some people are feeling that pump. They're feeling like, oh my gosh, Aries season is on the horizon and Aries is all like fast. To me, Aries is like fast paced, like complete, like pumped, let's get it going, you know? So some of you might be feeling that, whereas some of us are kind of like, Ugh, I can't keep going. <laughs> so I just wanted to come here and just tell you guys and remind you if you're feeling the way I'm feeling, that it's okay to feel that way and that I hope you take a day off or I hope you designate an hour or two or however much time you need for yourself. Okay, I hope that this video, the 15, 16 minutes that it's been, has been a time for yourself. If you've watched this whole thing through, I hope that you've allowed yourself to have some peace. Um, turn off the phone. You know, it's simple as that. Turn off your phone and just read a book. You know what I mean? Like curl up in a corner and read your book and just enjoy your time. You don't have to do anything else. Don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will be here when tomorrow's here. Just focus on your present right now. And if you're on the opposite end and you're feeling super good, be a support system and say hello and smile at people that you encounter because you never know they may be in a completely different mind space from you. So be gentle to everybody <laughs> um, and just pass on the good vibes. You know what I mean? So anyways, thank you guys for tuning in and um, I love you guys and I will see you later. Bye my loves.